Okay, YouTube. After uh, I figured, after I played with it a little more, I figured out how to actually get your uh, patterns to switch from A to B to C to D. So now you can use all the patterns in here. Uh, easy way to do this basically is you have to. Um, let me get out of here so you can show. I can show you. So you just go from your screen. You go to menu. And then you page over when you get there and you go to control and control expression. And I'm dealing with pedal three and four. We'll do pedal four first. Make sure it's on start. Um, this, that way when you're um, hitting it, it just it, it doesn't affect what we're trying to do. Um, and then on pedal three, control three, same thing, put it on start. So I'm using pedal three and four out of the back of my uh, unit and it's going down to the FS6 down there. And so uh, once you do that, then you get out of there, you exit. Now you've done your controls. Now you have to go into your um, assigns and you're gonna assign three and four. Uh, three, you're gonna turn the switch on uh, you're going to have control three, toggle is on, zero, 27, sorry about the camera wiggling around, rhythm variation. I've got it on B, B and D for three. Three happens to be the right channel. It's backwards. I think everybody who has played with boss stuff knows that the, the right pedal is number three. So it's on B and D. And then I'm going to go to four and I'm going to put four, same thing on control four, toggle zero, 127 variation. And so on four, which is this A down here, it's going to toggle between A and C. Now, the reason I did it this way is because if you go between A and B, it'll go from a, like a verse to a chorus. If you go A to C, it's going to go from a verse to a verse, but it's going to put a fill in there for you. And uh, same thing with uh, the other one. If you go uh, from a B to uh, a B to a D, it's just going to go from a, a chorus to a verse. Instead, it's going to go chorus to chorus. And let me show you what I'm talking about. It's a little bit easier to uh, actually hear it. So right now, uh, I'm going to toggle this uh, control board. So it's going to go from a uh, uh, verse to another verse, right? And it put a fill in there for me. So basically, it's going from an A to a C variation. And it just depends on where you hit the uh, the, the button on what kind of a fill is going to put in there, which is really nice, kind of like the B buddy. Um, so it puts different ones in there, just depends on where you hit it. But I'm just toggling between A and C so that you can, if you're playing a verse, it's not just the same old, you know, you can actually add some fills. So when you're ready to go to the chorus, now you, you hit B. And now you're going into the chorus. And so on B, it's going to go from chorus to chorus. So it's going to go from chorus B to chorus D. So now you heard that little roll that I put in there. Just again, it depends on when you hit it, on when it's gonna, uh, where it's gonna put the roll. Now back to A again. So now you can use A, B, C, D. You can set these up any way you want. I just have it set up. At first, I had just A and B, and basically what that did, it just made it go from uh, from uh, from a verse to a chorus. But that didn't really get me my full, uh, I couldn't use everything when I do that, because basically you're just going from a verse to chorus to verse to chorus. But if you set it up like this, then you can just go from a verse to a verse by putting it puts that fill in there for you just like a beat buddy would and then when you're ready to go to the chorus you just hit the other one and it goes from the B to the D and 
And that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, have fun with your RC600.